by your own Donnie will buy some thanks for being here I really do appreciate you choosing to spend some time with me in this video I'm gonna teach you this So that is a cardistry move, a flourish that I like to call carrion. It has a few little things in there, including a bit of a civil move and ends with that nice aerial flourish of a freely selected or named playing card. Uh, nine of clubs in my case. I'm gonna teach it to you in a few minutes. Uh, before we get into it, I also wanna talk a little bit about the subject itself of cardistry as an art form. Uh, but before we get to that, these are the Madison Trawlers. In the last video that I did, I talked a little bit about why I haven't announced them yet and why I haven't been making such a big deal about them. So go check that video out to find out more. I'm gonna be announcing the release date very soon. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to give you the final discount code. By the time you watch this video, there's probably gonna be only about 100 decks left before they're even released. The discount code, my good friends, Cardify.com. Cardify.com, if you don't know who they are, I go to their website to find out everything that I need to know about new decks and playing cards. It's the first place I go, and it's usually the last place I go. They tell you things about new decks that not even the producers or the production companies and the artists even tell you. But they've been friends of mine for a long time, especially through all my years at Illusionist. And they have just posted the discount code for the trawlers. It's the only place you can get the final discount code right now. I'll leave the link in the bio. Hopefully you can pick some of these playing cards up before they're all gone. We will talk a little bit more about them when I've actually got them in my hands. It's weird to talk about a deck that's designed for gambling and card cheating in a video that's dedicated to the subject and the artistry of cardistry, which is what I want to talk about now before I teach you that beautiful flourish carrion. Don't you think so, Charlie? Let's talk a little bit about cardistry. 2018 has been such a bizarre year for me so far and since deciding to become more active online and, and in the socials, specifically YouTube, simply because it's the, the number one platform for people like us, for creative people who, who are into performance and visual arts, the creative visual arts, a deck of playing cards on film. There's, there's no be better way to showcase skill deceptive skills with playing cards than on film and obviously the number one platform for that is YouTube and since making that decision to become more active this year and in doing the Madison deck reviews now when it comes to showcasing uh, somebody's playing cards that I'm re reviewing the easiest way to show them off or, or the best way to show them off against the music background that displays the playing cards without distracting from the playing cards by using a magic trick is cardistry, is flourishing. If I take somebody's playing cards in a deck review and start showing you magic with them, the attention shifts from the, the object itself to the subject, which is magic. And then you kind of forget to pay attention to the playing cards specifically. So in choosing to do cardistry and flourishing techniques with a deck of playing cards, yes, you appreciate the moves and the visuals of it, but half of those visuals are made up by the design of the playing cards themselves. So when it comes to that side of deck reviews, showing cardistry allows the playing cards to shine rather than the skills of the person holding them. And in doing those deck reviews, it's really, really kind of brought back this passion in me where I want to start cardistry again. I want to get back into flourishing. So I'm going to do it. I'm gonna start practicing daily. I did used to flourish a lot and I was one of the found, the foundational members of the cardistry community. When, when I first started doing it, I released 
uh, dangerous through Theory 11, a two disc project and one of the discs, one of the volumes was completely dedicated to card flourishes. And um, it's funny, back then I remember this, it wasn't an argument, but a discussion that divided people in two different directions. One side of that group wanted to call playing card flourishing, they wanted to call it cardistry. That included uh, Andre Jick and me. And I remember hearing that word for the first time uh, from Andre. And I thought, that's a cool name for flourishing. It's much better. Um, I'm going to start calling it that. And then there was another side another group who were divided who wanted to call it XCM extreme card manipulation I believe Devo was the um, was the founder of, of I think he coined uh, XCM I believe um, maybe I'm wrong but the, but the community became split between deciding what you call it and uh, anyway it went into the in the direction of cardistry but when when I was there at the beginning the, there were very few people doing it Dan and Dave um, I can't remember who else. And my disc, when it came out, it was always referred to playing card flourishes. I don't think the word cardistry was used once, uh, but since then, I decided to stop putting so much focus and effort into cardistry and flourishing because I, my career was heading in this direction, especially with the TV show that I was making where it was more about a card cheat and gambling and, and cheating at cards and hustling and, and a real life criminal. So flourishing kind of distracted from the art of deception. So I decided to not do it and not use it and not incorporate it in any way, shape or form into my act. When you see a gambler that like I have this theory called the soap theory, but I also call it called the I also call it the dirty bastard theory and it's the idea that when you're flourishing I mean when you're gambling and you're doing sleight of hand at the card table you purposefully make it look like you're no good at playing cards it, it's a huge skill and you have to swallow a lot of pride to, to look not so good at the card table because it's the number one it's not the number one deception but it's, to me it's one of the most powerful deceptions when you're cheating at cards to look like you don't have a single clue how to handle a deck of playing cards yet you're manipulating and controlling everything about those playing cards now to see somebody like that who does that pick up a deck of playing cards and do a seven packet flourish or cardish remove uh, it, it waves this huge white flag it says look how skillful I am so for those reasons that I kind of I, I turn my back a little bit on cardish and flourishing but, but now that I'm kind of opening my mind a bit to the to the art of just playing cards in general through magic deception and not specifically into the gambling world or for card cheating and especially doing the deck reviews I'm finding myself flourishing more to demonstrate and to show the playing cards off and it's brought back this passion in me where I want to learn cardistry and I thought it, it's kind of a good example for me to share that with you guys because a lot of people will see me as I am a professional um, and I struggle at this point to tell you what word to use I guess I'm a magician a deception artist for, for one week until everybody took that for that term and started using it for themselves um, I don't know what I am I, I, I guess performance art, artist is the number one thing but I don't like to kind of give myself a, a label but whatever I am I am Daniel Madison. I guess I should have said that to begin with. I'm Daniel Madison. That's all I need to be. That's all I want to be. Learning a new skill, um, you look at me as a professional Daniel Madison and expect me to be an, a, an expert level with, with everything to do with playing cards, but I'm not with flourishing and cardistry. I'm one of the worst out there. And I look at the cardist, the cardists and the flourishes uh, these days, the modern ones, and I'm completely mind blown, completely mind blown. Uh, compared to what I was like in the beginning, people used to look at me and think they were mind blown too. But when you look back in history at those old moves, it really is old school. Um, but I say, I said it all, all along, I'll say it now as well. There's no, there's no school like the old school and I'm the headmaster. So that being said, all the card history that I'm gonna learn and, and that I'm going to develop and 
the way that I like to, to deal with playing cards is create, create, create. So I'm going to try and create everything that's unique to me. And as I'm doing it over the coming months, I'll share everything with you. Um, we're going to start with this one video dedicated to teaching you the carrion flourish, the carrion cardistry technique. So let's uh, grab a deck of playing cards and uh, follow along. Now, I'm going to teach you this flourish with the reveal. Now, the reveal is the playing card that propels from the deck and you catch at the end. Now, this can be a freely named playing card or a freely selected playing card that you're going to control to the bottom of the deck. Now, the simple secret to this is the deck is in brand new deck order from the beginning, making it relatively easy to find any freely named playing card. So let's say we use the Nine of Clubs. The Nine of Clubs is named, it is shifted to the bottom of the deck. The card needs to be at the bottom of the deck for this to work. Let's say the playing card is selected. All you need to do, control that card to the bottom of the deck and go straight into the flourish and straight into the carrion card as you move itself, which looks like this. Now, before I slow it down dramatically and go step by step, I just want to slow it down a little bit so that you can follow along to see that nine of clubs. The nine nicely shows itself throughout, the, throughout this uh, flourish. Um, and right at the end, the, the move where the car propels out of the deck. This is something that I've, this is something that I've taught separately. I believe on Illusionist's YouTube page called uh, Flight. I think I originally taught the the flicking con uh, concept at Theory Eleven and called it In Flight. But I've now kind of weaved it into this strange flourish that involves kind of a simple and a lot of twisting packets. It is actually easier than it looks and hopefully you can see that when I slow it down right now. So just follow the nine of clubs. We start here. Here we go around. Still see the nine spinning around all the way back to the top and you get to here and propel that nine, which I guarantee I will drop a hundred times during this explanation. So the deck is no longer in order, by the way, once you've done the move, uh, but you still manage to control the bottom card the whole way through the flourish. So let's slow this right down and we'll go step by step into how to achieve carrying. You're going to start by holding the deck like this, thumb uh, right at the bottom, finger two right at the top, direct middle, like so. The free hand is going to come along and finger one and the thumb, you're going to pinch the bottom about 10 cards. You're going to pull away like this. At the same time, finger three from the deck hand is going to connect with the index here. So you get this motion. You're just pulling away a little bit, maybe 10 cards. Now the pivot point is going to be between the thumb and finger three of the deck hand. Let me clean my fingernail while I'm here. Thank you very much. So you're gonna, the pivot point, you're gonna pull away like this. And now the pivot point is gonna be like this. So you pull away slightly, all the pressure is now on finger three and the thumb. So like this, pull down, go this way. Now you will intuitively, your free hand will want to spin the, the packet this way. And that's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna start twisting the packet around like this. Underneath the deck, it twists face up like this. Finger one goes all the way underneath, uh, executing, achieving a full spin. So the first thing you want to practice with this is just that, a full spin under the deck. You'll find that fingers two and three might, might help in turning that packet over. There's no strict rules here, but the basic move itself is between finger three of the deck hand and the thumb of the free hand like this. So just as a little flourish on its own, you can turn the bottom packet completely around like this. So that's part one. So you're not gonna actually finish or complete that as a little flourish. You're gonna stop when you get to about here and you'll notice the position that, that the free hand is in at this point, your fingers begin to open. Now between finger one and finger four, you're gonna grip this packet the, the deck hand packet here on the ends and you're going to pull away another maybe 10 playing cards like so you're going to pull them away from the deck so now you're left with three packets so like this spin pull them away completely you're going to pull them away from the deck underneath the bottom so you're going to pull them to the bottom forget the dropped cards maybe you'll drop some too it doesn't make a difference you take this packet bring it to the bottom like this 
in this position the free hand is going to rotate underneath the deck like this so it goes from here clear the middle pocket then rotate spin grab clear rotate like this once again that can be a little flourish of its own like this so get used to those first two moves first before you move on now we need to find the nine of clubs because i want to follow along i want you to follow on nine of clubs in this so i'm just going to pick these cards up so with nine now on the bottom once again spin take rotate to the bottom right so the nine spin take this wrote as you rotate it to the bottom like this just straightening up your hand basically finger two of the deck hand is just peeking over this packet you can see that now it wants to connect with the nine of clubs like this and you're going to start rotating this packet one more time like this between finger three and the thumb again but this time when it rotates you're going to take it over the top of the top packet it goes onto the back of finger two and then finger one clips the whole packet in place like so now i can let go and you end up in this position so i'll do the whole thing again until i get to that point from here i spin with finger two over the top clip with finger one like so once you're in this position you can let go with your thumb you're free to to hold that packet completely in that grip here now from this position, notice where finger one is on the free hand. It's near the bottom of the deck, near this index. And then there, as you can see in my case, the, the three of diamonds. So that packet, once you're here, finger one needs to contact that packet. So this time it's a jack of spades packet. Finger one contacts the index here. Now I can let go of the top packet with my thumb and we go into something of a sibyl if you don't know what the sibyl is if you do know what the sibyl is this will be easy this part so the middle packet is now gripped between finger one here and the thumb here and you're going to separate this packet into two like this you're going to pull a packet away like so now finger one and the thumb you're going to spin this middle packet this broken packet upwards like this just a little bit upwards and the thumb and finger two are gonna grab this full packet in the middle here so it goes like this they're gonna grab the full packet this middle packet is gonna clear like this it's gonna come over the top and then I'm in a position where everything can close like so so everything basically closes at that point I noticed there was a playing card the wrong way around which is really frustrating me we'll do the whole thing again and when we get to that point I will slow down so nine of clubs to the bottom so once you get to that point where you're closing everything you're actually going to keep hold of that nine of clubs packet so once you get here you keep hold of it so now the grip on that packet becomes between finger three of this hand of the deck hand and the opposite index is going to be pressed up against the flannel of the free hand like so with finger uh, two still in uh, front of it finger one still on the back so i've still got a, a really solid grip on that so we'll get to that point and i'll slow down so here now i'm in position to start the two spins so the first spin looks like this i simply let my intuition take over my hands are going to turn this face up now in this position i'm going to grip this packet the nine of clubs packet between the flannel and finger four like this now i can let go so once i'm in this position uh, i can let go and i'm in this position right now now i'm going to pull my, my now empty deck hand I'm going to pull it round like this uh, finger two basically stays on this index and I'm going to push it down so I'm back in this position then my thumb is going to go underneath I'm going to start a rotation again finger one goes in front finger two is behind finger three in front so you end up with this pretty much the same grip as earlier but repositioned so the finger three and one are on the face of the nine of clubs now when you close in this packet you'll notice that moving your hand out or just pulling this hand away from the deck 
brings that nine of clubs along for the ride it pivots out like so and this is when we get into the flick where we can actually propel the nine of clubs away from the deck this this part will take more practice than, than, than uh, most of the other parts if you want to just get into practicing this you simply grab a, a corner lift up 10 cards with finger two the thumb pushes it round so the finger two ends up on the back fingers one and three on the front lay it down like this propel let go and then catch so the deck is now complete and all back together as one and you're left with the nine of clubs let's look at that the propel the aerial move uh, straight after the cat the entire flourish itself so nine of clubs follow it around spin on top i now have four packets i'm going to grab this close everything apart from the top spin one spin two flight catch so that's the entire routine the entire flourish the entire card move of carrying Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget cardify.com. Pick up some Madison trawlers. I will talk so much about them when I get them in and once they're ready to ship. But right now, I'm gonna try to remain quiet about them. If you do pick some up, if you have picked some up already, thank you. You are supporting an independent artist directly and I can't express how much I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the move. If you used it on the social networks, tag me in it. I want to look. I want to see how beautiful it looks in other people's hands. Oh, by the way, Charlie has an Instagram account. I will leave a link to him in the studio description. Right now, I have to go because I'm hungry. See you next time.